forklift is delivered and I'm pretty sure I hear the barn coming down the road. The Daddy Curbs Dream Barn has been delivered. This barn started with a dream and some online shopping. Yes, we bought our barn on the internet. Once a company and barn design was decided, we got to work preparing the area where the barn would be placed. Let's go all the way back to January of this year when we were first clearing the land. Day one of 2020, this is January 1st, and for a couple days now I've been site prepping, preparing the site for our new barn. I've roughly marked out where the corners are going to be for the barn and I'm just kind of scraping and taking some of the soil away from this area and putting it over in behind the tractor over there. This area back here behind the tractor has been very low ever since we moved in and water that flows through the property turns right here and heads right through where the barn used to be and where our new barn will sit. So I'm elevating all of this with the soil that's coming out of the foundation of the barn and just raising it up about two and a half to three feet. After all the earthworks on the site was finished, we started digging the foundation hole. This is the process of removing a lot of the native clay soil so we could stabilize the pad site with crushed gravel. The foundation hole for the barn pad was done in several stages. My son, Espen, did a lot of the initial work with a rented skid steer. We're working on the Daddy Kirk's dream barn, starting with the foundation. My son's on the skid steer, digging it out. Eric from Texas Barn Dominiums is the contractor doing the foundation. He's a fellow YouTuber and has shown that he can do amazing work with these large foundations. Eric Cortina, Texas Barn Dominiums. He's gonna be doing this job. He's gonna help me out. Let me know what I've done right. Let me know what I've done wrong. And that way we can move forward with a good spot to put this barn. Right, yeah, well, foundation is very important. <laughs> Eric visited at one point to check out what I had done with the foundation hole. He liked where it was going, but alerted me to the fact that the hole wasn't big enough. How far outside the dimensions of the barn do I need to dig in order for the foundation to be solid? I would dig a minimum of five feet beyond in every direction because you want, you don't want your footers to be on the very edge. You, you have to understand you're digging out your bad soil and you're replacing it with good soil, all right? Select fill, okay? And all that's going to be packed in. Well, you don't want the edge of your foundation to be at the very edge of that new pad. So you want to have some, uh, I guess in a way surplus area so that you can set your new pad on, all right? So I would go five feet in every direction, extra. So we dig again. I'm very blessed with great neighbors who have friends with larger equipment. So there were a few days when they came over to help. Man, it really helps to have the right equipment and someone who knows how to drive it. With the foundation hole dug to the correct size, it's time to start filling it up with gravel to provide that stable pad site for the barn foundation. Truck after truck. After truck. After truck. After truck. Man, that was a lot of trucks. Each time the trucks delivered a day's worth of material, I used my little tractor to scoot it around and level it out. When the foundation pad was full enough, the drivers of the large dump trucks agreed to help compact the pad site by driving back and forth, back and forth. This was done on several layers, and again when all the gravel had been delivered. Between rain, sprinklers, and a lot of heavy equipment driving on the pad, I'm hoping it's compacted enough to do the job of keeping that foundation stable. If things were done in perfect timing, the concrete work would have been finished 20 days before the barn kit arrived. But like most things here on the Daddy Curbs farm, it didn't work out to be perfect. The foundation forms were underway the day the barn showed up. 
It was my job to use the large forklift to unload the trucks. With only about five minutes worth of experience with that large forklift, I get to work. strategy for me right now is for them to back this truck forward and back so I can go straight in from the, the driveway and then stage it right here in the yard and that way uh, when the trucks are gone I can move it back around and worry a little less about uh, having them waiting on me. But the goal is as little damage as possible. Now you get to have all the fun. Yeah. 
We got two of the three trucks unloaded. The third one will be here in about an hour or so. We got all this staged up here on the front of the property. The goal is to now with the pressure of the trucks waiting on us being gone, there's no more pressure, uh, we can start taking that around and positioning it in places where it can sit for a couple weeks while the foundation is being finished. With a windy driveway and narrow spaces, the Daddy Curbs farm is not laid out well for moving large equipment around. But somehow we were able to get the job done with minimal damage to the lumber and the land. One really big challenge was getting those pallets, those large pallets, some of which were 18 feet long around the original cabin. We call it the guest house. There's only 15 feet between fence and wall. After trying to squeeze some of the shorter pallets through this area, we decided that the larger pallets had only one way to go, up. You guessed it, we lifted these long pallets over the house, but being careful to keep them under the power lines. Now that the kit is here and the foundation work continues, we wait for that next step. Coming up soon here on the Daddy Curbs Farm, we'll see what it looks like as the concrete foundation takes shape and we can start assembling this barn kit. I believe everyone has a story and every story counts. I believe your story counts because you count. Thank you so much for being a part of my story and letting me be a part of yours. I'll talk to you soon.